Welcome to another edition of In The Know. I am Tony Reeves and thank you for joining me. How many of you have ever seen one of those coin machines in the grocery store? If you haven't really noticed it, it's usually located at the front of the store and so you can see it as soon as you walk in. Now the operation of the machine itself, fairly simple. All you have to do is bring whatever coins in whatever container that you have them in, pour it into the machine itself, and what happens is that the machine actually will count the coins for you and generate a receipt that will give you the dollar amount of how much money the coin that you actually put in the machine. Then you take that actual receipt itself up to the customer service desk at the grocery store and the grocery store will give you the dollar amount of whatever amount of coin that you actually put into the coin machine that's reflected on the receipt. The process of using it, fairly simple. Now, at first glance, you're probably thinking that this is just some novel device that people can use because they have a, a whole lot of extra change scattered around the house. And since they don't wanna sit down and take the time to count out each individual coin and wrap them in one of those coin wrappers, they can just take their coins and put it into a jar, go to the store, pour it in. This way, they've now got all the coins counted up easily. And in some cases, that's exactly what the machine is used for. However, in other cases, this machine is for something else. This machine is for survival. Imagine a situation where you're trying to pull your money together to pay for a bill or buy some groceries or even put gas in your car. Instead of trying to roll your nickels and quarters or trying to count all your change in a plastic bag, you just take it to the grocery store and pour it into the coin machine and now you have the few dollars that you need in order for you to purchase your essential purposes. But for those of us who've ever found ourselves using a coin machine for survival, this machine is more than just a place where you can get cash. It is a choice. And the choice is not about whether you should use the coin machine or not. The choice is about the willingness and your willingness to persevere. The choice is about your desire to keep grinding. It is a choice about what you need to do next based on the circumstances that caused you to have to use a coin machine in the first place. See, in so many situations and circumstances where we are trying to achieve or pursue our goals, we often hear people talk about or use the phrase, the grind. And so when we hear that phrase, somebody who's grinding, there's this romanticized perception of people going into work, working hard, and doing all these things that help them move towards the, accomplishing their goals. And when we are trying to achieve our goal, we keep putting on our best face and presenting ourselves to the general population, and our businesses keep moving as we continue to move in a positive direction. That's the things that we see and romanticize. However, what we do not see is the dirty hard work that comes from behind the scenes to get there. And the dirty work behind the scenes is the true grind. This is what separates you from the masses. And what we do not see is the times when we have to ask for help from friends because we are waiting for a contract to get approved. What we do not see is having to ask our parents for a loan to cover payroll until we get paid on a job. What we do not see is us making the decision to not pay certain bills or delay paying certain bills until we get paid for a particular job and thinking that we can play catch up later. And finally, what we do not see is when we are in the house going through the couch covers and our purses and our wallets and counting up all this change and putting it in a bag, going to the grocery store and using that coin machine so that we can take care of paying for groceries or at least enough groceries to keep us afloat until we get paid for a job where the money is moving slow. And this is where you stand out because this is the grind that breaks people down, the unseen sacrifices, the dirty work. And whether you know it or not, the fact that you are putting in the work shows that you were made for this kind of grind. With each example that I just provided, and I can tell you I've experienced quite a few of those, there is one thing that you need to know. Not everyone is built for your kind of grind. Not everyone is built to handle the micro decisions that force you to decide whether you wanna keep trying to pursue your dream or if you want to give up on your dreams altogether. And it takes a lot to face a situation when you find yourself going through your home, looking for change, putting it in a Ziploc bag, going to the grocery store, putting it into a coin machine, and doing all these things because you don't have enough money in your bank account to pay for groceries. So when you're sitting there with that bag of change in your hand, you have to realize someone in that situation, other than you, it may break them down. This is not a storm that they can weather. You are willing to endure whatever hardship you are experiencing because you know if you can endure it, you'll be better on the other side. 
And if you find yourself wondering whether your dreams are worth it, let me just tell you this right now. You're gonna have one of those coin machine times. It can be brutal, but if you keep staying focused, you'll be rewarded. And the reward is not that it worked out. The reward is that you kept grinding. So when you find yourself in a coin machine situation while trying to pursue your dreams, know two things. One, do not worry if people do not appreciate your grind. And two, most people are not built to handle your grind. Because if you do not know, you better start asking yourself the question. So when it comes time, then you'll know that you are built for this grind.